Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at maximum count of positive integer and negative integer problem which is from lead code number 2529. Uh, it is similar to first bad version problem from 278. I have already made a detailed video on this. You can watch it from the link in the description below. Now let's read the problem statement. In this problem given an array nums sorted in non-descending order return the maximum between the number of positive integers and the number of negative integers. In other words, if the number of positive integer in nums is position and the number of negative integers is negative, then return the maximum of position and negative. Note that zero is neither positive nor negative. Now, if you look at an example, example number one, in this case, if I just write the indices, then it is saying about return the maximum count of negative number comma positive number how many negative numbers are present three negative numbers the positive numbers are uh, are also three in number so return the max of three comma three which will be three if there was another positive number here uh, which was at sixth index then in that case you have three negative numbers and four positive numbers and so you have to return the maximum of three comma four which will be four right so that is the entire problem now in this case if you go from left to right, iterate from left to right or right to left, you just have to keep a count of negative and positive numbers. You have to skip all the zeros. Now, since this array is occurring as a non-decreasing order, that means uh, all the same items will be clubbed together. It is already sorted, right? So if zeros are present, they will be present at the same place and any repeating numbers will be present at, I mean, adjacently, right? So you can easily skip the zeros. Now in this linear approach, you will be taking order of n time. And if you look at the constraint here, then the nums length is maximum 2000. So definitely the maximum number of operations is going to be 2000, which is two times of 10 to the power of three, which is way below your 10 to the power of eight. So this will definitely pass within one second. Now, uh, the question also asks about, can you improve this beyond uh, the given order of n time complexity like can you write it in order of log n now since this array is already sorted since it is already sorted what we can do is we have to find the last negative number and or the first positive number because in this particular case if i take the second example where you can have zeros as well i can just mark the indices from let's say 0 to 6 if i find n which is the nums array dot size it will be equals to 7 right now if i consider the negative numbers to be crosses and uh, then i consider the zeros to be dash and then i consider the positive numbers to be tick marks we have to determine what is the last index of this cross and the first index of this tick mark okay now you can easily do it with the binary search approach in which you have to just find out the lower bound of x i mean the cross because if you do lower bound of cross then it will be stopping at the first zero in order to do that what you can do is you can find lower bound on zero simply so if you apply lower bound on zero it will be stopping at the first occurrence first number which is greater than equals to zero index of the first number which will be greater than equals to zero so it will be stopping at three and if you apply upper bound on zero then it will be stopping at the first index which is having a value greater than zero so the lower bound will stop at three the upper bound will stop at five okay now you can easily determine that the lower bound whatever it is pointing to three there will be three items to the left side because the counting started from zero so lower bound if it is three that means three items are negative and whatever is the upper bound upper bound is giving you let's say a five value then this will mean that starting from index 5 till the end you have all the positive numbers so you can simply subtract it from n what is n 7 so you can do n minus upper bound to actually get the positive numbers right so it will be giving you 7 minus 5 which is 2 so now you take the maximum of lower bound comma n minus upper bound and this will be returning you uh, the maximum count of either the negative or the positive numbers right so i think this approach is clear you can easily implement the lower and upper bound now if i can show you the code this is the c++ implementation 
where you can just use the APIs lower bound, upper bound and uh, simply return the maximum of the negative numbers shown by lower bound and n minus upper bound which will be the positive numbers. So it is keeping all the zeros in the middle because I am applying the binary search keeping zero as, as our uh, base that means finding lower bound on zero and upper bound on zero. If you want to see the implementation you can look at the Java code and this is having the implementation of lower bound and upper bound as well fine so that's it about the problem i think this is easy to solve and you can you go ahead and solve the first bad version it is based on that problem i hope this problem is clear see you guys in the next video if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number.